Hey guys, what's up? This is the 8th war of season 21. And yeah, Kenobi, we're facing again, again, two times on this season, ASR, Assassin's Reload. And this time I'm taking lane 1 on section 1. And on the very first fight, I have to fight uh, the first stubborn champ, um, Invisible Woman. And yeah, I used Warlock because Warlock is a really, really tank. A champion and I was just worried about her invisibility but uh, I ended up <laughs> taking this fight in less than 30 seconds or 30 seconds only so I was just worried for nothing anyway on the second fight uh, on this fight I had to use Void but since I had a suicide zone I decided to use Warlock, which wasn't the best option because um, Doctor Strange can nullify your armor and he can get a uh, power. But I saw that this this guy doesn't have a Mystic Dispersion or at least he didn't play with Mystic Dispersion. So it was easier than I expected and I didn't have a problem at all too. And yeah, uh, on the second section, on section 2, I had to do lane 7 as usual. I usually uh, send me here or I'm sending here, wh whatever, no? Okay, anyway, uh, I had to fight this Mr. Sinister on this first fight. And yeah, I fucked up uh, because he got his special 3. I could have thrown my special 1, but, but I decided... Uh, to not do it because um, when you do a special one with Warlock you drain his power but you lose the virus that you put on him okay so I was like okay Pepe don't worry about the special 3 I won't have any problem because I also activated my um, resistance uh, special 3 boost uh, the 33% resistance boost and I was like, okay, I won't die. So no worries. Uh, this actually gonna help me to build my SP2 quickly. And yeah, I just baited two special ones from, from him. And once I got my SP2 and once I got my um, an opening, I just used it. Then waited for another opening and used it again. And he died. He died. In, yeah, I think it was a rank 3 uh, Mr. Sinister. Uh, this alliance has a strong defense as well, but I didn't have any problem. And yeah, on this second fight, on this lane, um, I decided to use a SP1 boost. And I was like, mm, should I use it or should I then, should I don't? Uh, anyway, I ended up using it and yeah, uh, I was like, oh, Man, you shouldn't have to. But anyway, I ate a heavy attack um, on purpose because uh, that way I was going to build my SP2 uh, even faster. And yeah, uh, once I got my SP2, it was back to back and it went down really, really fast. And yeah, uh, for the last, last section, I had to fight this Killmonger. And let me tell you that this killmonger, this killmonger can be a mess because if you don't end this fight really really quick uh, you can die you can die because on this fight uh, there is a chance to get either incinerate or poison when you attack the opponent okay so uh, my strategy here was to build my sp2 as soon as i can then land my special 2 and yeah i got almost uh, two bar of powers i had just 150% cosmic boots boost activated so that's why I didn't get my special 2 because I just had one mission on Corvus anyway I lost like 70% on this fight even if I didn't get clip or anything that's why I, you need to finish this fight as soon as you can anyway on the last fight I changed I changed my masteries uh, to benefit void I put weakness um, resonate uh, mastery uh, despair on three out of three two and forgot that i shouldn't have put assassin mastery and i did and you're gonna see at the end of this fight that it almost uh, screwed me up but 
I was smart. <laughs> I was smart in then and didn't fall for it. And yeah. Uh, anyway, this is my first time ever that I do this fight um, versus Thing Boss. Uh, I've done on the last war. I I killed that Doctor Doom. Uh, it wasn't the cleanest fight I ever had, but any it's because I'm not used to to use Void on war. Okay, I know how to use Void uh, because it's it's just easy. It's just you just have to be careful about applying uh, the debuffs on him, and yeah, that's why I didn't use my special one right now because I knew fear of the void was going to activate in time. So I was like, okay, let's just not let let's just not waste a uh, debuff, and yeah, I'm I'm trying trying to always always use my special one when he's close to the 15 chairs of rock, okay. So I always used my special one when he had 13. That way, since a special one has two hits, he's going to get uh, the 15 charge. Okay, so when he uses a special, he's going to lose everything and repeat the process over and over. Uh, if you paid attention to, I started always, always to do parry because when you do a uh, perfect block, you always gonna charge a destructible charge on the enemy that way you can easily bait without a problem and it's going to be really easy an easy fight okay and uh, here here he didn't throw his special instead throwing his special he was going passive and he threw his heavy so i got corner and i was like okay pepe he's going to throw it ta 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 like matrix bro <laughs> yeah like matrix i baited it all i didn't have any problem i'm really really used uh, to think it's an easy champ uh, his specials are really really easy to evade and i have no problem evading uh, when corner so anyway uh, he's close to 18 percent so assassin's master is gonna trigger right now and you're gonna see that um sometimes he's going to okay I fucked up. Anyway, you're gonna see that sometimes he's not going to chase uh, the uh, his rock chases. Okay, so it's going to be really bad right now. Before dying, um, no, it has passed already. I I fucked up on the video. Anyway, it was uh, an easy solo. I did really really good. It was for me my my first time ever playing a void versus thing. It was amazing i i believe uh, the other two guys in bg2 and bg3 uh, used boy 2 and they lost more hp like me so and they are pros professionals users of void okay so if my first time ever i lo i lost less hp than them that means that i'm really good using him so i think i'm gonna start using void more often and yeah, more more wars incoming, more good wars, more boss solos, maybe. Uh, who knows? Anyway, guys, we ended up dying four times only. Uh, my battle group didn't die at all. Uh, that fight was the last and we didn't have died before. So we ended up dying dead. We, we, we were deadless this, this entire war on BG1. Congrats to all of them. Congrats to the MVPs. And yeah, guys, um, good luck for the next war to ASR. Uh, they did great, uh, but we did better. And yeah, uh, this was for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoy it, and then hit the like button, guys. Uh, that way you're going to help me more. And subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.